Now, uh, my mission in life is to help you and everyone who needs my help, but I can never give you that for which you are not ready. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. Let me call your attention to a great power which is under your control, a power which is greater than poverty, greater than the lack of education, greater than all of your fears and superstitions combined. It is the power to take possession of your own mind and direct it to whatever ends you may desire. Poverty, fear, illiteracy, and superstition. The four horsemen which keep most people in bondage all the days of their lives. Faith is not something you get. Faith is something you already have. But you may be using it in reverse gear by believing in the circumstances and things you do not want, the things you fear. poverty and lack of education, you are simply directing your mind power to attract these undesirable circumstances. Because it is true that whatever your mind feeds upon, your mind attracts to you. Now you see why it is important that you recognize that all success begins with definiteness of purpose, with a clear picture in your mind of precisely what you want from life. Everyone comes to the earth plane blessed with the privilege of controlling his mind power and directing it to whatever ends he may choose. Your only limitations are those which you set up in your own mind or permit others to set up for you. Your faith is limited only by your own capacity to believe. Faith is guidance only. It is not a power which will bring you what you want, but a power that can guide you to go after what you want and get it. There is no such thing as something for nothing. Everything, including your personal success, has a price that must be paid. A negative mental attitude can bring you nothing but failure. Remember also, your mental attitude is the one and the only thing over which you have complete control. Success is something which has to be planned, and success is something which has to be earned in advance. True, there is such a thing as luck, but just remember that luck is something you can create for yourself if you know the rules and follow them, and the best definition of success which I know is this. Success is the knowledge with which to get whatever you want from life without violating the rights of others and by helping others to acquire it. Your only real limitation is the one you accept and set up in your own mind. The habit of going the extra mile definitely develops greater self-reliance and gives one more courage to move ahead without the fear of criticism from others. It helps you to master the destructive habit of procrastination. Know what you want and believe that you can and will get it. Give expressions of gratitude many times daily for having received that which you want, even before you actually get physical possession of it. Possession starts first in the mind. There can be no application of applied faith without action. When overtaken by defeat, as you may be many times, remember that man's faith is tested many times before he is crowned with final victory. And accept your defeat as nothing more than a challenge to keep on trying.
I can give you a fine example of how nature forces man to go the extra mile in order that he may produce the food with which to exist. The farmer, for example, must follow the habit of clearing the ground, fencing it, plowing it, and planting the seed at the right season of the year, all of which he must do in advance without compensation of any kind. If he does his part of the work properly, he then hands the job over to nature, sits down and waits for her to do her part, and within a brief period, nature yields back to him the seed he planted, plus perhaps an increase of a hundred times that amount to compensate him for having gone the extra mile. Thus we see that the law of increasing returns comes to the aid of the man who goes the extra mile. I say this is your greatest asset with which you may tap and draw upon the supreme power which created you and runs this entire universe. The name of this principle is applied faith. And I want you to remember it is not something I am bringing to you, but it is something you already possess, although you may not have made use of it in the past. Applied faith is the mental attitude wherein you may clear your mind of all fears and doubts and direct it to the attainment of whatever you desire in life. Applied faith is a mental attitude we must cultivate and maintain before we can take complete possession of our minds. We are now, this very moment, standing in front of the gateway which can be opened only with the great master key to success. Applied faith. Most people make a negative application of their great power of faith by thinking about and believing in poverty, ill health, fear, failure, and defeat, when it would be so easy for them just to change their thinking over to the circumstances and things they desire. many times the average person must fail before he quits. Fails because of the lack of capacity for belief. How many times can you meet with defeat before you give up and quit? Belief is truly a magic word because it is the beginning of all successes. It is the very foundation of civilization. It is the one quality you must develop before you can make use of the great master key to success. To be successful, you must become a person with a great capacity for belief. And the place to start believing is with yourself. You should begin by recognizing that you were born with the privilege of complete control over your own mind. You can take full possession of your mind and make it yield you whatever you demand in life. If your life is not what you want it to be, you can change it. As a matter of fact, you can do anything within reason that you desire to do if you embrace the principle of applied faith and keep it directed to the attainment of the things you want and off the things you do not want.